Thank you.
D, A, and F. Um, I guess. I was looking.
Remember you don't say here this is the whole day? Yeah.
Cut myself a bit with my nails. Um, don't do that. You can just lift it. It's gonna be bad there. That's why I put that bag there. Really? What? Really? What? what? Okay. Really? Doing what? This look, it's just three buttons. Still stop doing that. Don't okay. Go four down in that diagonal. I think I already do that instruction. Just don't do that. Look. Keys or something, just just like bleed on them. Do you not have gloves? They, they lift their nails right up if you go right through them. Look, it's, it's right there.
for some reason. Okay. Uh, you can always play this. No. Yeah.
Ah, uh, so diff. Ah, uh, so diff. Wow! Oh! Really? Oh, what? Did you really? What? Is the thing not pointing at a piano? Ha! Huh. It's not pointing at a piano. I don't have to fix it. We can just look at spaceships flying. Can you not? Sorry. We can just look at spaceships. I'd like to upgrade the fire rate of my spaceship first! Yes! Ha! I had fires faster. I don't need the damage. Yeah! Go that way. I make projectiles go in another direction. I, I, I have to look at enemies. What is this? No! What is this? Thank you. What? Oh, thank you. Yes! No laser! <laughs> Yay! Oh, <laughs> advertisement now. Don't worry about it. Hey, finish the coffee. Uh, be careful. You might want to lay down for a long while. Oh, good idea. You might want to lay down for a long while. It's a lot of force. It, it sounds like you break something. Yeah, I I gotta do something else. Look, I, I gotta do something else for a long while. That's that's an awful lot of force. I don't, I don't feel safe. I don't, I don't feel safe with that amount of force coming out of the Mars. I, I don't know. No, that's an awful lot of force. No, no. no. And that's enough to break something. Okay. What do you mean? No, no, no. I, I, I don't. I don't think that's a good idea. It, it's not. No, no. I have to study. You know how to press the screen and make it make the. Wow, you have an autoplay? I think I disabled that. You know, I get the dead silence perk. Enemies don't hear your footsteps. Yes, I love this perk. It's almost like I'm cheating or something. Look, the, 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 the army boots got like, um, the, the, like noise canceling on it for some reason. I don't know where they installed it, but it just don't make sound. It, it like rocking the metal and stuff, right? It, it don't make sound. It, and they got like the sniper rifle too. That that's cheating. You got the sniper rifle crit draw? Oh no! I ain't I ain't wanna be water you. I already know I'm gonna lose. I didn't one shot you. Alright, you can bring the sniper rifle. Just don't run around that corner. Why not? I'm quick scope you. Oh, he got a shotgun! Oh, you're a noob! <laughs> I don't gotta aim! That's what you get! Oh my gosh. No! What do you want me again? You want a rematch? Oh, you, 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 you. Ah, are you using the first pistol in the game? There's no way that's gonna get me. The first pistol? No. This is the fourth or the fifth one. The, wow, really? The, 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 Here's the last pistol in the game that's cheating. Why? How's it cheating? It, it just has perfect stats. It, it's just the perfect weapon. No, that's cheating. No, no, no! Yeah, 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 yeah! yeah! No! Ah! Ah! Hi, Tyler Hugi. Okay. Then Rayso. Hero. He took cover. I pressed it. K side. I think they got a problem with what? Chu Shadjo. They got a problem with what? Oh. Well, I don't think it matters. Well, with all that gay stuff on the home page, it, it don't matter. What? The I could... Can you not breathe? 
No. You really can't breathe. Ah! My water use a machine here. I'll, I'll pour more water in it. You really can't breathe in here. What the heck? What? You know, no, literally. Did I tell you? If it's not excessively hot in here, you can't breathe either. Well, don't worry. What? They, 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 I think they want to know what, what goes on in here. They, 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 want, they want to know if you're creating stuff. It's been here for a while. What? Did he actually do something? Yeah, look, I'm gonna go to the source code of this here. Go in here, go in here, go in here, go in here, go in here. And then I'm gonna make some modifications. Alright, I'm gonna flesh out some variables. So, it should be in control state in the enter key. I'm going to go up. Control enter. All right. So I got to have a this flush function. All he flushes the rectangles. You're gonna need another function. Well, I think I know that. Really? I gotta need another function. This one only flushes the rectangles. Um. So I gotta create another function. This this function only flushes the rectangles. Why that mean? The variables in the red tables are the only ones that are getting flushed here. Look. So when you press the enter key, what it actually runs off of is a reused variable. So if you press it twice, well, the variable's value would be flushed as well. Look. Watch this. I'll go up. I ran through the whole function again. The whole the program. Don't look at that. It's a lot of... Yeah, it's not that much. It just you have to type everything perfectly and do it correctly the first time. That's the way anyway. Alright. So this is the control panel script. I don't think I need to go in here. Uh okay. I'm going up. Alright, go down. So, I'm going to go to line 1,000, um, where is it? And 200. Line 1,200. And this is the code. Line 1,200. Look, you, you want me to type that for you? It, it's going to look real funny. I'm going to go to line 1,200! Don't! Don't do that! Don't, don't yell that, please! <laughs> oh my gosh, can you not? What? I'm going to go to line 1,200! Say it in Japanese, no. Why? They'll move your account if you use the Japanese symbol. <laughs> Look, these are Japanese symbols. No, they're not. It's just the number 1,200. Those are Japanese symbols. That's number 1,200. It's just in a Japanese font for some reason. What? Look. It'll wonder if you know how to use this language or something. Really? What? You have to scroll right. Yeah, that's why you know how to use this language. I'm going to go to line 1,200. All right. I'm in line 1,200. Gosh, really? It moved the cursor up a bit. I, I can't really reach it from here. Two.
too. Nine. Oh, say, can you see? And you go to the object. The object is here. It's this here. Oh, okay. How did I need the battles? I clicked something. I, I pressed one button. You, you press one button? Yes! I pressed one button. I looked and realized I had the number one set in the coordinates rather than number two. What does that do? It makes the rectangle crunch down. Let's try it. It might be stuff. No, I fixed it! He pressed one button! Oh, he now would press one button and it's fixed! Look! Dog water! How do you know? Zombie, what? You're not even practically pressing a mouse at this point. Look at your finger. Look how high it goes. Lift finger tiger playing the piano. Stop! Stop pressing it! No! Look, I pressed one button and fixed it! No, I'm hitting it with the middle finger! <laughs> they can't see me sticking the middle finger up with hitting the cursor! Yes! Oh my gosh! I pressed one button and fixed it!
Did they have any reflectors? What? There's no reflector selling off. Uh, I forgot. Oh, why, why is this shit on the screen? Oh. You ran out of me, right on the head open. Thank you. Look, I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix it so they, they won't be like, Oh, he ain't fixed application. Look, he crashed. Look, I think I know what to do that. Why did I get poo taro again? Changing. No, you just change the senses. And I changed the senses. But I remember the first red words. What? Well, I'll fix it eventually. Give me a moment. What? What do you want me to do? I'll fix it. Look, I'm actually in the source code. No, you're not. Look. What? Really? What? I'll fix it. Give me a moment. Three? I don't see four. Oh, it's right there. So, this is the source code. There's 74 lines of code. Line 22 is where the error would run. What? Do you have a one line if statement? Encapsulate that. That's easy. You have a one line if statement, a line 21. It's not running due to line 22. What? It should be easy to fix, right? How do you fix it? You press the button. What button? You fix it. It's so easy to fix. Look. I gotta open up Blender and create some models or something. No, you're not. Look. This is dog. Are, are, are you trying to tell me what I'm not gonna do? Watch this. Um. What's the fastest way to get out of here? This. What's the fastest way? What? Really? What? Do you not know? What? Um, look. What? Do, do you want me to fix the source code of the application? Look, I'm looking at it. I'm just not doing anything. What do you mean not doing anything? Look, I was studying. It's not... 12 o'clock in Japanese time yet, so I gotta sit right here and do nothing. Right? Look! Do you want me? I'm not gonna press anything. It's so easy to fix. In fact, um. It's this line right here. What? what? Oh no! How does this work? Are you not looking at it? Okay. It, it says to complete the tower. Are you really? Don't worry about it. Right. right! Stop yelling! I'm not yelling on purpose! And they have chat. Coffee. Look, it says here, I like the way to blah 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 blah.
It's lucky for a variable that's not existent because it hits the ally. The variable might be existent in the player, but it's not existent in the allies of the player. So what happens is it's set to error. What? That's what it does. Really? Yes. What? What they say I'm gonna do? Okay, look. They they think I'm gonna do something about it. You just have to destroy the enemy brothers. Really? You don't wanna be funny? What? If you wait to the whole page and you're and they're playing stuff like Star Girl and stuff, it, it, you're trying to get away from the products, and it just keeps bringing on the whole page. And then you make a new account and type two letters H I for high and they start deleting your account. And, and it, like and then I'll be like, oh okay. Look, do they really not want you to read a book? I know they told you people to get educated or something. What? Look! They started playing so fast. Don't press it again. Look, can, can you not? He can't even attack them. Look. <laughs> Are you ever played a game where you have the player level up? And they can't level up unless they let you. Like, you don't level up for play, you level up from when they let you level up. Okay, watch this. Campaign simulation. Uh, upgrade. Uh, I'll do simulation. Give you random. <laughs> random code manual reward. You press arena. Oh my gosh. Why would they do that? Yeah, they have the quick run button here. What? Do you want to study the language? What language? English? Ah, yes. I need to learn English. No, don't say I have a book on the screen. Why? What? Do you hear English or something? What? You want me to fix this? I can fix the source code. Give me a moment. Um, rolling. Rolling over. Rolling. Don't worry. I fixed the source code. I fixed the source code. I don't think it takes the strike out of my account for the book, though. Look, I, I fixed the source code. I don't think anyone's gonna see it with, with the account not there. Did, did, did you realize? He hates it. But it's like it's really good. And they're not gonna resist you unless your skin color is white on here. No, literally. No, I, I just told you. It, it literally will not do anything. It's not doing anything. Look, they don't want me to read a book. Oh, they don't want me to read a book. It's done. Okay. Look, it says here. There's a whole new fire projectiles. Yeah. There's no only fire projectiles for whatever reason. It just throws an arrow when it touches your ally. Alright, I press this. So, it throws an arrow when it touches your ally. What? How? Okay. Look. Kyoso! Two. Got it correct. Ko. Yeah, I already saw this thing. It's right there. King Moku. Moku Damaru. Yeah, that is Moku Damaru. Look. How did you know that was Moku Damaru? Well, look. This is grade Chi 1. Secondary 1, right? Tamaya. I got it correct. Fighting. Let's see. Ah, I missed. Well, I pressed random words. 
What random words? Why would you just press sentence? Oh, for sake. He died. So dead. You're not gonna sit there and actually study, are you? Yeah, yeah, you gotta fix it? Oh, give me a moment. Okay. I'll take the source code of this. Let's open a document. Let's use a regular word pad. I will open LibreOffice, but it has to load for one moment. Error. Abort. Dude, really? What? Do you want to see what you're doing? You, you don't want to see. Trust. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll bring it down. Control plus B. He presses the button. He doesn't even move the cursor. Look. What, what do you think I was doing? I'm programming. No, you're not. Look. It's right here. Really? Yeah. It's right there. Alright, so we'll go to the objects. We'll go to the player object, and then we'll open up the creation code. And then we'll verify that against the allies creation code as well, to make sure this variable is existent. Alright, so we've opened up the player source code. Let's go down. It says just the player is going to the allies. And let's open up the source code of the allies. And let's see if this is in the allies. This is 50 line of code um, over here. Let's see. Uh, we're going down. It's existed in both of them. So the aerodrome is here. Is there a way for stuff to reflect? Do the allies reflect stuff? No. Might want to check that. Okay, thank you. It's here. Enemy? Is it identifying an enemy instead of a player? That's suspicious. Look, I think it's identifying an enemy instead of a player. Please don't burn enemies. That's on the first line of code. It's, it says don't burn the enemies. Why not? It says don't burn the enemies. It's gonna crash. It, it's now line one. It says please don't burn enemies. You even left that there. What? How'd you? Dude, how do you fix this? It's easy. You just switch this object player, right? Look, look, look. This is the... Wait. Four? What does this code execute? Let's check the fire projectile. Which fire projectile did it activate from? Holy files. Holy fire. Line 62. These are homing fire projectiles. Step line 62. Alright, so you go down to line 62. Let's see. Else if reflected equal to true. So it's a reflected projectile. How do you reflect the fire projectile? Wait, we you found the allies. They, they, do they reflect stuff? Wait, no. Do they reflect the fire projectiles back to the enemy? What? What is this dog water? Fix it! You have to go to step code of the player, and you're gonna have to go down there. Uh, you're gonna check these allies. No, no, I, I gotta check these allies. That, that, that's, that's suspicious. Are, are they reflecting the fire projectile to the enemy? Which it says not to do. It says not to do that. It specifically says not to do that on line one. It, it'll crash. It just does. Um, let's see. Um, 
The ally fell tight is equal to a flat. Why? Dude, it says not to do that. A line one. It says please don't burn the enemies. Don't burn them. Dude, what is this? Don't burn the enemies. Just don't burn them. Okay, now I'm going to check the source code of the enemy. Is that the player or the ally? The enemies don't have a burn time variable. The enemy literally does have a burn time variable. So if you reflect the fire projectile that they shoot back into them, they don't have a burn time variable, so they don't know how long to burn for. So it crashes. What? I fixed it for you. Now you did it. Look, those are homing fire projectiles. If they're reflected, it homes into the enemy. It's going to hit them no matter what and crash your program no matter what. So I'm going to find the enemy first. Um. You have, to, you, have, you have to change it for every type of enemy. Yeah, every single type of enemy has to be changed in the source code to have its burn time variable. Now you have to go to object enemy. This is the basic enemy. Create. Go down. You have a burn time variable. So if they have a burn time variable, they got to have the source code that actually burns them. So, you have to have the source code that actually burns them, even if they have a burn time variable. But they can have the burn time variable and not burn at all. That's a simple fix. Line 47, let's go to the object player, it's creation code. Let's get this burn time variable. It's down here in line 91. Let's get this. Let's control C this. Let's go down to the enemy. Hit the enemy. The code is right here. And let's create a line 47, a burn time variable, and it's fixed. What? Did I tell you I was going to fix it? Yeah, I did. Now I have to go to every single type of enemy and do this. And then, as soon as you do that, you're going to have to get the algorithm for burning the enemies. Um, yeah. The, the algorithm for burning the player and put it right into the enemies. That'll increase the load and goes against the machine, too. It really does. Well... You're gonna have the ice enemies and the same variable. Ice global, same variable. Every single type of enemy. And this product. So, you could create another subsection of code, create a comment saying that it's a subsection, but I'll do that later. I'll tell you that it deals with the status elements, and you have to go to each of these objects. I could just have them inherit. No. I'm not doing that. Why? Because everything is different. Every single thing is different in the product. Everything. Did I tell you everything is different? Everything is literally different. No, I kid you not, everything is literally different. Everything in the project is literally different. How large is that application? Don't ask how large an application is. Don't do that. Watch this. Look, this is going to be fun. Now, you can think enemy 2 is you. You can change the source code anyways. Well, look. Let's see. So... You have drones. I don't see the drones. Where's the drones? Object enemy drone. Thank you. You're going to have to change every single drone as well. The drone enemies. The drone enemies are going to have this variable as well. They're going to have to um, have the algorithms as well. Um, yes, I don't know. They, they need to have the sequence of instructions as well in every single one of them. And maybe the boss too. Have you ever reflected a fire projectile to the ball? No. Like, not the allies. But the allies reflect projectiles for some reason. I change it. I have to just, just like, uh, change it. But I, I, I like having the allies reflect projectiles for no reason. Why the allies reflect projectiles? I don't know. I mean, because I said so. Wow! Because you said so! How many lines of code are you going to open right there for the thing where they can actually see what you're doing? 
What? You can actually see what I'm doing? Oh, sorry. Look, and then the boss as well would have to have a burn time variable. Oh crap, what? Really? What? Ah, the boss is exactly watching like a code. Now, watching one. Now, the reflector the boss has, or why does it reflect? Don't ask why it reflects. It just reflects everything. We have to have this too. Now, is this burn time? Yeah. Now, that's just burn time. Now, this error runs in each of the projectiles. What? You should have took each of the statements and put them into your clipboard. Good idea. Now, that one error won't run. Instead, the other two will run. The other two errors were run instead. Ah, two more errors. Yeah, it, it got two more errors. Two more errors. Yeah, left, right, up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, up. It's going to throw two more errors. So you go back to that player. So, let's go back to the player. Let's save this. You fix one out of three errors. I think so. It's going to throw two more errors anyways. Because there's um, electric and ice projectiles. I just picked the fire one. So, it's going to throw two more errors. So, I got to go back into the player. And I'm going to have to take... Ice. I'm going to take lines 86 to 94, and I'm going to put these into the clipboard, and I'm going to go back into each of these windows. That are open. Um, open. Don't click that. Why? What happens? Look. 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 <laughs> each of these windows. Good idea. Try closing everything. Closing. Watch this. Show R. Look. Ha! <laughs> it all off the screen. Uh. Look, just so you can see, I'm gonna cascade it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Processing. Oh, why did you press it? You, you can't do that with that ding running. What do you mean you can't do it with the ding running? Why? Try not writing to the memory at the same time. Oh, can you see my eyes are really light? Well, I am a real world, gallantly gleaming. Through the skies and rise far through the hairless skies. Is it finished yet? No. What is it doing? It's getting stuck. That's why you save it. Look, why would you press that? I don't know. I, I just want you to see what would happen. Okay. Okay. Is there a way to stop it? Try it. Jeez. What did you do? Let's see if I can hit the X. Oh, 
little Japanese woman. He, he gave the X. Now, now you see it's a Japanese woman. Really? I reopen it. <laughs> Look. I go back to here, I go down here, I go in here. Ah, why my cars never go down that far? That, that's that's literally the Look, move it for it back. We keep it down. Move this under here. It's supposed to be locked under this object so I can actually use it. Thank you. I think it's locked a bit. Not really. Thank you. That's supposed to be caught under that object. Move it back. Well, okay, thank you. Uh, I suppose going to here. I suppose going to here. I suppose going in here. Go back. Go into the objects. Now I have to go into each of these enemy objects. Now you start with the first enemy here. Um, go to create event. Now. This is line 47. So we change line 47. Backspace enter. Control V. Control Z. Control V. Control Z. That's setting alarms. Alright, I was checking. Um. So I want to go back into the enemy. Now, let's... What? Can you not... Don't worry. Alright, so... Now, stop right there. What did I get a problem? Look. I, I, I literally press stuff. I, I press stuff. Look. It, it, it fixes it, right? So after you fix this, you want to have to change the functionality of the source code. You have to go to the encapsulations of where they actually fire projectiles and do any sort of attack. And then you would have to change something there. And then you would have to go and, um... Well, any sort of movement, you will have to lock the movement out. And that's it. Otherwise, it would just run. It would just run the code and nothing will happen. So, you have to go to the drones. The drones would have to take this to. And, I guess so. Now you have to go to this itself. I'll go to here first. Go down. Look, right after I do this, I literally look. Look, I I gotta do this. Go back to the look. Look, it's fixed. I hit save.
I think is safe. It's safe. I get sand, I go down, now I go in here. And then I start going into this here. So I go in here, I go up here, I go in here, and go in here, here. No, no! Down. I go in here, then I go in here, I go in here, and I go in here. And then I change the source code for this application. Good night.